Welcome to the LucidCenter.com's intro to getting started with um, the WebTree software, the online webware, um, to contribute to your family history and ancestry. So this is kind of the home page. Um, there's some common surnames up here, and obviously I'm not logged in right now, and that's for a reason. So let's click on someone and um, see what that looks like. So this is James Wilson Carpenter. And uh, we have some information here, and we could access, you know, see their families and um, see some information. But let's say that, um, you know, that's all good and everything. I'm glad I got this information, but what if I disagree with it? What if I want to edit some of this or um, add to it? Well, you can't do that unless you're logged in, and I think that's a, a very good reason. We don't want just anyone poking around. So there's a login button here, and if you don't have a username and password quite yet, you could always request one. And that request will be sent to me, Jeff, and I will approve you to edit changes um, on a limited basis. So therefore, like if you edit something, it won't be um, changed right away on the website. It will um, go to me for approval. So we'll go back to that um, comment. So now we have all this um, little links down here to edit information. So if I disagree with this date, I'm not just going to edit it and change it. I'm actually going to add a second um, piece of information. So let's say I thought it was 10-10 um, of 19-10 in um, Oakland, Michigan. So then I would add my source. And so let's say I found a Michigan birth source that tells me that information. I could put a link in here. Um, the best idea, if you have it, is to upload a media object, and you could do that right there. And so that way we have um, the actual evidence on hand. And so you would add that information. Now, um, if there was a dispute that didn't have a source, you could always contact me or just add um, a separate one, and then we'll have two different ones, so we'll have two different birthdates, and we could look into that more and try to figure out which one is correct. Um, any changes that you make go to me for approval and so they're more likely to be approved if they have a source if I could find the source look it up and you know double check just to make sure that the information being put on the website is accurate so that's uh, one tab that you could do and you could add a lot of things to this um, the description of the person death birth obviously um, all the way down to you know property information their occupation and even a custom event. So you could add anything um, you want to their facts and events. For family, let's find someone that um, is a brick wall ancestor and we'll show you the family piece. So John Carpenter, 1750 to 1828. Um, we don't have his parents listed, so here's some information on him just basically birth and death without sources so if you happen to be contributing to this guy and find some of these sources you would just edit and then add new source information okay now let's say you found his parents so you would go to the families tab and there are the links for add new mother add new father you could always add a wife um, looks like we don't have a wife for him so you could add a wife with marriage details um, you could add any other kids or sons or daughters he may had um, there's all kinds of options down here that are less used um, but you know adding a new wife linking this person to an existing family as husband so if you know the wife's in the database and for whatever reason he's not linked you could click that link um, these are less likely to be used but they're there because families can be complicated and then there's you know a few more al if you want to add a, any sort of image um, it'll show up in the album if you add an image here um, it'll show up in the album anyway so um, you don't have to do it twice um, the interactive tree you kinda got a peek at and this is kind of a, a good way to drag through the f um, family to see how people are related and you could always click on these ancestors and see details and then of course there's um, the Google Maps piece which allows you to see different um, points where your ancestor had interacted. So you click on that, it shows their death. Um, Google Street View is available if you have a very specific address. Um, I guess not that specific, but this is, I guess, um, just the Smithville Flats, New York. So this is just what Google pulled up. So 
so you could kind of see um, that area. And if you click on the address here, you could see it in a better format. So you could kind of browse around uh, the old stomping grounds of an ancestor, which is neat. Um, obviously, it's not how it looked back then, but um, still kind of gives you a cool idea of what the ancestor, where they might have lived. So in addition to all this, you have a My Page, um, which allows you to customize your home page. So um, mine has my messages here. If anyone contacts you through the website, you could leave messages there, and I could delete those if I wanted to. Um, I have a little slideshow here. I think this is all um, customizable by the user. Um, upcoming events I have, and then any events today show up right here for On This Day. I also have a favorites page for favorite ancestors that I might be working on. So, um, you know, let's say you're working on a particular surname or t particular family. Instead of going up here and typing them in every time you show up, you could just um, find an ancestor and let's do it to him real quick to show you. So, um, you just click favorites right here and it'll add to favorites. Fairly simple. And last but not least on the home page, I have on mine a journal so I could keep track of my research. And you could always add a new journal ad tree or edit old ones or delete them. So that is uh, a quick intro into um, editing information on the web trees um, site. And this is um, the lucidcenter.com brought to you by Jeff Bovillia with um, ongoing research. So if you ever change anything, it's not going to take me too long to look at it and hopefully approve it and then you should see it um, shortly after. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me or contact me through the website. Happy hunting!